Hey guys, I'm Tasha Cobbs Leonard and you're watching Madame Noir. So we have a new album out now, it's called Heart Passion Pursuit. And uh, one of the things that God spoke to me about with this album is he wanted it to bridge gaps. He wanted it to be a universal song, sound. And people ask me all the time, where'd you, where'd you pull these three words from? And one of the things that, that really spoke to me is that often we can focus on the things that separate us or segregate us you know that be it class be it gender age whatever it may be but he said to me i'd like you to focus on your heart for me your passion for me and your pursuit after me because these three things are the things that you know makes everything else fade away and you just focus on me and then you can truly become one my favorite song literally changes by the week Literally. I would say this week, uh, there's a song on the album, it's called You Know My Name. And the song basically talks about, you know, no matter what people have called you, no matter how you've been labeled, God knows exactly who, who you are. He knows who he's called you to be in the earth and that's who he sees you as. So that kind of encourages me. Joel Osteen, I've encountered him several times. He is a man of God. He loves God. You know, I, as a person who's received flack and backlash from social media, I have a special place in my heart for people who are on platforms who receive all of this negative attention. The fact that Joel has blessed his community for many, many, many years speaks volumes compared to this one instance that people want to expose and magnify. I, I believe that he did what he felt was great for his community and, and uh, safe for his community and his church. I, there's a scripture that says, to whom much is given, much is required. And I think this is social media, the backlash is a part of that that's required. You know, uh, Jesus is who we base our lifestyle after. And he did not go through life without people talking about him, uh, people trying to kill him, you know. Uh, and so who am I to say, I don't want to go through anything negative. If Jesus can do it, I can do it. You know, he was the greatest example. It was all my decision. I wanted to keep my father's name because he earned it. You know, I honor him. He's been, he was an amazing father, but my husband also deserves to be honored. So each one of them get their own little space, you know. 